So yesterday, I'm walking home from work. Let me show you what happened. Those were new jeans, by the way. Who am I kidding? I would have destroyed the sky rats anyway. And remember this gun? That's what I'll be shooting today again. That's the Hubin K1 Carbon Fiber Stock Edition by the Wolfie Group. And today I'll be using the Orion Cam as my scope coming setup again, but this time along with something else. Here is a little offset mount that I've put on the Picatinny rail of the Hubin K1. And on it I'll mount this torch so that I can shoot indoors where there isn't sufficient light. And by indoors I mean that place over there. The pigeons just love to go inside. And you just saw one that almost went in. There will be more. And this right here on the torch is just a simple scope mount that I had left one of the higher ones. That scope mount will do just fine. And maybe you can even see the raindrops on my scope and on my gun and on the torch. It's not only foggy today, it's already starting to drizzle. I mean, it's like that thing gives the Cuban an entirely new and tactical look. What I'm shooting today with my Huben K1, Zanslux 0.25333 grains at 890 feet per second. And yes, their skirts are painted for that tracer effect that we all love so much. That's something that I did yesterday, let me show you how. What you see is a 3D printed tray made especially for spray painting the skirts of your projectiles. I got this from Steve from Airgun Evolution, who I'm told is the guy who designed it, and from Orion the Iguana Hunter, who was kind enough to 3D print it for me. Thank you, boys. The tray consists of two pieces and the top cover if you choose to use one. Its purpose is to protect the main unit from the paint. I suggest you apply some white primer on your slugs and pellets before spray painting them, otherwise the paint just won't stick well enough. To load your tray, you should insert the projectile skirt first in the upper piece, close it with the bottom piece of the assembly, which is designed to keep the slugs in place, and then when you turn it upside down, you have the skirts exposed and ready to be sprayed with the color of your choosing. We use that additional protection sheet to keep the paint away from the main unit and a couple of elastic bands to have the tray closed and the openings well aligned. I'd say an average can of spray paint will last you for quite some time, but that depends on how often you use it, of course. I chose a fluorescent yellow, but my friend Erlis tells me fluorescent orange is what gives you the best visibility of your projectiles in flight. Wait until the paint dries off and I think you'll be more than pleased with the results. It was pretty foggy and humid, which explains the somewhat hazy scope cam footage, especially on my first shots of the day. That's 62 yards. Another one. Wow, that was loud. Sixty five yards. Oh, this guy is a bully. Not anymore, he is. He isn't actually. <laughs> Oh, 
or to see some cat robotics. So let's make an experiment. We have a feral pigeon and we have a dove. Let's see which one the cat is going to choose. All right, setting them down close to one another. Like so. And now it's up to the cat. She is approaching. She's been sitting for three or four minutes there already, doing nothing else but wasting my time. And apparently we have a winner. Or do we? Yeah, probably because the pigeon is bigger. So now they went over to the silos and this gives me an opportunity for a long shot. So this one to the front is 116 yards away. Hold over. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Okay, one of the rest. Boom! Wow, very good. That right there is about four or five yards further. Now on this shot there is something you don't get to see every day. I think I only nicked the pigeon I was aiming at and then the slug ricocheted off the silo roof and grazed the one above it too. Yeah, check this out. They gather on the rooftop and then they go in. Okay, we got 55 yards here. Right on top of the grain storage. Got him. Another one. Whoa. The skyrod carcasses that remained on the rooftop attracted the attention of some of the larger birds, which, just like feral pigeons, are less than welcome at that place. Look at how vicious those birds are. Down it goes. That's a crow right there, it's at 82 yards. Hold over. And the branch is rocking a little. Oh, got him. Very good. And now it's time to put that flashlight to use and see what I can do about the winged menace that stays inside and refuses to leave. There's the one that I just shot. 
there is another one in sight That's the second one that I shot using the torch and I really hope that the GoPro footage is going to be better because I've reduced the frame rate to 120 per second. A lot of guys watch my videos, they judge me, they use foul language, they threaten me, they refuse to understand what we do and why. This is why. This is just one example of the mess the sky rats make at those facilities and at farms. And that's a place where they store our food. That's why we call them. Yeah, you know how it is. Spring is coming. The birds and bees and everything. Looks like my tubby has a companion already. And he looks just like her. Hello, you guys. How many pigeons have you had today already? And you're not the silly kind, are you? You wouldn't eat a crow. Not even one that is so close to them. The following footage was taken in one of the adjacent buildings and it turns out that the winged rats are trying to gain a foothold in more than one place. Time to feed the male too. Wow, he's so fat. And he also seems reluctant. He's just six or seven yards away from me. Maybe I'm scaring him. Okay, I'll slowly back up. And hey, if you keep thinking about it, your lady friend is gonna snatch it right under your nose. I gotta tell you everyone, I had a lot of fun today and I just love how versatile this platform is. This offhand shooting with the torch in the darkness was a new experience as well. The compact and lightweight yet powerful semi-automatic Huben K1 is quickly becoming one of my favorite guns, if not the favorite one. As for me, I'm going to make one last round of my permission, so bear with me for another 30 seconds and see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.